So I wanted to make a little video to show some of the beer ga of Lumputat or Lumpotat in Tachoto, also known officially, of course, as Prakru Tamajariya Piram, who was the ex abbot of Wat Karahabadi the seventh abbot of that temple since its uh, erection or uh, installation. And, uh, the temple of Wat Karahabadi is in Bangyi Khan uh, district of the Bang Plat municipality, which is now within the borders of Bangkok, but was in those days still countryside. And you might notice that this beer ga, which is, uh, he made three major kinds of beer ga. The beer ga, bird lang, mi hu, which is what we're looking at. Bird lang means with the open back, because you can see the, the cowrie shell. Beer ga is a cowrie shell. You can see the cowrie shell just peeping out of the hole in the middle of the beer ga and uh, which would be here you can see the hole in the middle yeah. and uh, you might notice that uh, apart from this you can see a very great similarity to the beer gear of Lumpur Rod or Wat Nai Rong and that is because uh, Lumputat or Lumpotat in Techoto was a Luxit of the Wicca. He was a Luxit, he was a apprentice of the Wicca Biaga to Lumpur Rod or Wat Nairo <coughs> in the same time that Lumpur Rod was making Wat uh, Biaga at Wat Nairo. Um, Lumpotat also learned the Wicca and began to make them and continue to make them <coughs> after receiving the Wicca from the Burad. Uh, and this is one of the kinds he made. He made the beer gap bird lang mi hu. This is with the open back bird lang mi hu with an ear, meaning with a pendant ring, a cord ring attached, which we can see at the top, which would be here. Yeah. And uh, otherwise, uh, would say that uh, if you look at the cord wrap, you can see the wear, the smoothness of it from the wear and tear over the ages to be not that far apart from the era of Lumpurad of Wat Nai Rong. Mm. So uh, his uh, Lumpotat's early era amulets uh, may cross over with the later era amulets of uh, Lumpurad and who knows how many and which of them were actually made uh, in the presence of both monks because when you're a monk and you're learning Wicca with another monk you will make the amulets together as part of the learning process so um, the early era Lumpotat amulets just as this uh, uh, will cross over with the late era uh, Lumpurad amulets of Birger and you could say that maybe both masters and other Luxit apprentices may have sat in empowerment together for the beer gear. But this beer gear itself is from Lumpotat, not from uh, Lumpurad. Yeah, and there is a very, uh, with the early era Lumpotat and late era Lumpurad, there are fine details to notice which are to, will to do with how the cord is wrapped, slight differences, and um, the appearance of the beer care in its uh, fine details. So let's have just a look at <coughs> some other examples. Here we can see the beer care, also bird lang, mi ho, with the open back and uh, with the ear on it, with a pendant hoop. If you can see the back side of the beer care, you can see this spirally. Some are round and some are spiral. 
uh, which you won't see with the beer gear of Lumpur Rod of Wat Nai Rong. So that's one way to distinguish in this particular model. Whereas this one on the back is more rounded. I don't have a picture, but I have seen, and you can see on the front it's more rounded. Although this on the front is also rounded, but on the back is spiral. And here you can see on the front is rounded and on the back is rounded. And is also birdlang, open back, so you can see the cowrie shell. But is mimi who doesn't have an ear, doesn't have a pendant hoop, cord hoop attached for uh, tying to a waist cord or to a necklace. Yeah should never be worn before, below the waist so you can wear it on a waist cord or on a neck chain and you can see this is early era because of the crab the bang uh, and the the, the, the powder uh, residues and the tightness and smoothness of the worn cords which are so shiny with having been worn so we have seen the beer gear Bird Lang, open back, Mihu, with a pendant ring, with an ear, and the Beer Ga, Bird Lang, Mai Mihu, open back, no ear, no pendant ring. And here's a close up of, I believe, no, not the same one, a different one. <clears throat> and you can see on the back of this one is very sp more spiral back, and this Mai Mihu. But if you see on the top here, there was once a who and has been cut off. So that was me who, but had the who cut off because the person who took it didn't want a who. Probably maybe encased it once. Who knows? And here we also have, and you can see the back of this one is rounded. They might begin with the spiral in the beginning. In the middle, it's hard to see. Uh, this one is beginning with a spiral, goes in a spiral. And uh, this actually goes in a spiral in a way, but it's rounded. It's rounded. The, it's more rounded. And it's bird lang mai mi hu. Uh, and without the spiral on the back, it's more rounded. So you'll see more um, with more evident spirals like this. And like this especially, you can really see the spiral. Uh, and uh, less evident, more rounded like this. And with the peeping out. But he also made uh, my bird lang. So just be a cat, tak chuak. My bird lang, uh, no open back, and in the close up in the right hand corner here, you can see the worn, shiny, rubbed effect of the cord as it is tightened and tightened and worn down to the point where the threads are no longer visible. And uh, this is my mihu, my bird lang, my mihu, not open back, no ear, no pendant hoop. And this one is my bird lang, mi hu, with a uh, not open back, with a pendant ring, with an ear. And here we can see with no ear, no open back with no ear, no open back with ear. And as you can see, this rounded, bobbly effect. And this uh, much more recognizable. Uh, this probably very early era here. Yeah, and uh, it's uh, more recognizable. This has a lot of um, <coughs> resinous substance lacquer on it, shellac maybe, and this one less. And uh, this one is much easier to recognize. This is bird lang, my, uh, my bird lang, my mihu, not open back, uh, mihu with a, a pendant ring, not open back with a pendant ring. So you can see. Uh, uh, here is open back with a pendant ring and I'll just I can't bring it down yes I can I won't look at those because they're going to get cut off and uh, 
open back without uh, um, without a pendant ring and the rear face you can see the spiral on the rear face which you don't always see but usually will see and this worn effect of the of the cords of the chuak and the powdery crap between the the powdery residue between the chuak cord yeah so there you go um bird lang my me who uh bird lang me who bird lang my me who perfect example with a beautiful spiral bird lang my me who bird lang my me who or curry me who bird lang my me who that who has it cut the air off um bird lang my me who my bird lang my me who not open back no ears open bird lang my me who open back no ears my bird lang my me who no open back no ears my bird lang me who no open back with ear my bird lang me who no open back with ear bird lang my me who open back no ear bird lang my me who open back no ear bird lang you can see bird lang here open back my me who no ear and there you go some of the classic pimnium most recon easily instantly recognizable beer gear of lumpotat of what karahapadi who was the seventh uh, abbot of what karahapadi and uh, his upachaya his ordaining officer was lumpurad of what nairong and he received the wicca of witihakom of wicca buddha magic uh, and powerful putakom uh, buddha magic and witihakom which is uh, occult magic uh, various kinds of occult magic and especially the wicca biake which was his primary wicca for which he was most famous for and um his development um under his group ajan numburod was so great that he in his own right became equally famous and equally revered for his biake biake amulets uh which he used to give to his luxit and his and deputies who came to make merits at the temple and um as he handed them out and the results from the devotees who took them and wore them uh and of course Thai people like to uh word of mouth goes round until he became a famous gejiajan around the whole country uh and uh he passed away in about um i'm not sure i did just around 2491 be i think some time around that i'm not sure because i haven't written his biography yet but sometime before the end of the um uh 24th uh buddhist century before the beginning of the 2500 to 25th Buddhist century, and he passed his which which are be a care on to Lung Pu Ploy, who was his first Luxid, um, who continued this which are on. 
uh, and uh, um, Lumpur Ploy began making in a, uh, making beer again two four nine one. So um, that will be about the end, around the time of the end of the life of Lumpur Tad. But I'm not sure exactly of his birth and uh, age uh, of death because I'm still in the process of writing his biography. And so there you go, Birke of the great Lumpur Tad, first apprentice in which are Birke to Lumpur Rod of Wat Nairong, Sajan Spencer for the Buddha Magic Project, signing off.